welcome back to another opening video. I am very, very excited about this one because today, get it, we have a scale figure. It's Chica. More Chica. This is the 1 7 scale figure. I think they call it, yeah, they call it a Dream Tech right up there. And it's made by Wave right there. Ordered this off of eBay from Japan, and somehow after it shipped, it got here in two days. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm gonna show off the box real quick. Since these scale figure boxes are always a little bit nicer than the typical figures, nothing on the bottom. All right, let's crack this open carefully if we can. I don't want to damage it. These boxes are always so tight. Why do you do this to me? There we go. Okay. Let's very carefully. This. This is a really nice scale figure. There tape, there is tape on the plastic. Sorry for knocking you. Can you misalign that. Any more tape? I think that is it. That is it for tape. This one's easy to pop out here, so I don't risk flinging parts. <clears throat> I always hate it when that plastic with these little bubbles. Let me see if I can get it on camera. These little bubbles that kind of stick into the spots there when they're too strongly attached. Try to pull the plastic open, and then the whole thing just flies out everywhere. Dropping her hat. Get her hat here. Plastic off of her. It looks like she's got some different type of plastic around her joints. Which is interesting. There's also some up here. Let's get her base out. Looks like there's a little bit of dust on it, but it's all coming off. It's actually a really nice base. This is like a red felt. It's like um, it's like uh, the stuff you'd find on the bottom of chess pieces but red, but it's like really high quality. It's got like a, a really nice feel to it. It's not like really cheap felt. Uh, oh, I'm forgetting her bow. There's a bow in this. Get the tape off of it. It's taped in here. I believe the parts for her are magnetic, or at least the bow is, so we'll find out. Yeah, I can see a magnet on the back. Sure, that's everything. Yeah, it looks like that's everything. Okay, so we need to get the rest of this plastic off of her. Try to do it carefully. Is her head on a ball joint? It feels like it's actually on a ball joint. I'm gonna be careful taking this off. There we go. Yeah, there is. So there's a ball joint up in there but it's just a stem that fits into her neck. These are just on her sleeves. There we go. Pass that over there. And then I believe her body also comes apart. Her skirt can be removed somehow. Let me see, how do we do this? I don't wanna damage anything. But there is plastic on the inside here, which tells me that this is removable somehow. Hmm. I'd rather not force it if I don't have to. Let me see if the box came with like a manual or something just to... No, did not come with a manual or any instructions. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're just gonna have to figure this out then. 
And the skirt is definitely a separate piece. I'm just not feeling anything move when I apply pressure here to try to pull. Oh, maybe, maybe something's moving. Just want to be extra careful with this. I'm going to finish this off camera just to... There we go. Yeah, just needed a better angle. Okay. Yeah, so the skirt is a separate piece. If you don't want a good panty shot, you can just buy the model yourself. I'm not going to give that to you because Chica is not that kind of girl. But that's the reason why it was so hard to uh, remove. There's a really big piece that goes inside of there. Let's get her back together. <clears throat> and you really got to push. <clears throat> there it goes. Okay, there's her body back together. Let's get her head back on. Up away, hopefully. All right, I think that's good. And now I believe the bow, yeah, the bow is magnetic. It's right there, or you remove it. And then you have the hat, which does not appear to be magnetic, unless it's supposed to be sideways. I don't think so, though. I remember just being straight on. Yeah, it looks like the hat just fits on her head loose. I'll put that on after we get her on her base. Looks like just one peg here, one hole in her foot. Just like that. Get her nice and centered. And we are definitely going to have the hat on her. If I can get it to somewhat lock in. Let's see, does this have grooves? Okay, this does not do the thing that a lot of the hats for a lot of figures do where they have grooves that match the hair to make them fit a little better. I think that'll work. And I will have to find a safe place to throw this bow because I don't want to lose it. I guess I'll just put it in my parts box. Yeah, that is the Wave, uh, what was it, Dream Tech? Yeah, Dream Tech. The Wave, Dream Tech, Chica, scale figure really really nice i don't know if it's coming across on camera but the hair color is actually really nice on this it almost looks like it's uh slight very slightly translucent but it makes it look like shiny and like really bright pink just don't know how well that cro comes across on camera but yeah this is a fantastic figure this is my first figure from wave I haven't really seen much from this company, but if uh, this is the standard we're working with, I may try to seek out some more Wave figures, because I really, really, really like this figure. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching, and stay tuned for the next one, because we have another very exciting figure to open in the next video. Bye!